It's me. Shot was me. What the hell do you think you're doing? I am a herald from the goddess with a message for your ears. Goddess? The goddess no longer offers tribute nor lets you devile her temp temple. <laughs> Spoiled American bitch. She pay you. You want to make money? You go back over to stupid club. You find ungrateful little girl there and you kill her. I pay you. I see she trusts you. For you to do this, it will be easy. Kill the goddess? Love is overrated anyhow. Yet, comrade. You will get nothing from me. Go tell that bitch she can pack up little club. Her name is coming off it. Get the hell out of here. Pashli, go. The message is in your ears. I am gone. Stay out of the goddess's temple. Yeah. Uh, Japanese 101 with toaster. How to say dirty words. Uh, dirty words in Japanese are not that interesting. <laughs> I don't think you'll... Uh, I don't think that would be as fun as you think it would be. Need new furniture? Shop at Sofa King. We are Sofa King great. That's very funny. It's amazing how much better this is. Who is this behind me? Oh, it's my own trail. There we go. This will cure our blood problem. Colonel says, I think Chin Chin means Willy. It's the, basically the Japanese equivalent of saying pee pee. But like in the childish sense of like, yeah. It's like the thing that like a parent says to their child when they're like, wash your pee pee. You know, that like that sort of level of Japanese. <laughs> it's not like a sexy word or like a dirty word. It's like a word you hear in a kindergarten. <laughs> right. Well, the Russian mafia in LA is dead, thanks to me. I sucked them all dry. I sucked the whole Russian mob. GTO is awful? How dare you? GTO is amazing. It's a classic. There you are. Finished yet? Uh, let us enter your orifice. What? Yeah, I can't hear you. Let's talk in my office. Done. Boris? The Tsar has fallen. Is that Boris's blood? Guess we're partners then. If you only knew what I had to do over the years to keep this place open. Tell you what, partner. Come in every few days and I'll give you your cut. Here's tonight. I've got some money to make us. I'll hold your share of the profits. Don't forget to drop by and scoop them up once in a while, hmm? I will return as often as the stars, goddess. The fruits of my favorite dreams would paint these walls splendidly. Really, I'd love to hear them, but I've got to go find a new DJ. My old one's still spinning that pixie wave matic 80s redux electronica. It's so last Friday. Heaps of thanks again. Heaps of pleasures. All right, so we got a steady income source now, which is super helpful. 
Because it means we basically never need to worry too much about money. As long as we uh, come back and check in every once in a while. Lovely and we did it very early into this section, so I think with the amount of like stuff that happens like when events um, change over time, I think that's how it like accrues the actual cash. We'll make things a little bit easier. It becomes easier to steamroll. That's LaCroix's building. Uh, we did that part. There's a specific mission I'm trying to figure out how to get to, but I can't remember how to do it. Mm. Ow. My elbow really hurts from resting on my armrest. Ow. I like gave myself a off to like blood vessel on my elbow. Yikes. Colonel RPG says this game only has male enemies, right? I have no idea. I don't think so. I'm not sure. I think there are female enemies. Maybe. I don't know. Couldn't tell you. I genuinely don't look. Like that is genuinely the last thing I am thinking about when I am looking at the enemies I am fighting. Help me! Help me! It's got them. It's, it's coming for me now. It's, it's coming for me! You know, there are female enemies in Grouch's Mansion. So, there definitely are female enemies. Uh... You're tangled in fear, little fly. Did you see the Black Widow? Black Widow? Black Widow? Spiders. Spider. Spiders and flies. Spiders and flies. <laughs> no, it was out of the middle of nowhere. Uh, the Black Widow waits for me. Do not flee, fly. I shall return. For one so unlike a whale, you blubber well. Colonel says Anohana was vapid over serious melodrama. No, it wasn't. Anohana was good. What are you talking about? Anohana was a pretty well-written show. If that's vapid, I'm curious what, what qualifies as sincere to you. <laughs> what? I mean, it's not like the best anime ever, but that's wild. That's a wild take, Colonel. Right. There we go. Madoka was sincere. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess I read that. I think Madoka's a pretty sincere critique. talking about Madoka in my chat I uh I saw the third movie in theaters in Japan and I have film reel from it I own a piece of the the 80 millimeter or whatever it's not 80 millimeter it's like 30 millimeter print or whatever but I own it I own the celluloid so I went to the premiere but yeah Madoka's pretty good Pretty good show. Probably my favorite thing by that writer. This is supposed to be a really spooky horror segment, but <laughs> kind of walking through it.
Real terror is not the sight of death. Mary it is Elizabeth the fear Nicklin. Of death. What is the fear of death? Terror of the unknown. Is it these eyes you peer into? No. I am not the unknown. You and I are closer kin than you and it were. <sighs> you also eat other spiders, widow. Child of Malkov. You should understand better than any other the debilities of some of these bloodlines. A spider? No, they drink only blood. My own condition is more like the mantis. I must also eat the flesh of these kind to survive. Black widows have tangled webs in the dark. How do I address you, widow? My birth name I tell no one. You may address me as Pisha. Pisha was the name of my companion and lover in a time before my death, 230 years ago. She has no need of it anymore. Why did you build your web here, Widow? My stay in this city is transitory. I seek relics of the occult traced here and would trade similar artifacts to acquire them. But if you wish to bargain with me, the kind upstairs must be sent down here. He has seen too much. Huh. Like honey, I will catch the fly for you. Now we gotta just catch ourselves a human. I got lost for a second. Where am I going? Where do I need to go? Over here. Nope. Not over here, decidedly. Where do I go? Where do I go? Uh, how do I do this? There we go. Business card. <sighs> Let's see. Business card for Haunted LA. The name on the card is Simon Milligan. The address is Skyline Apartments, apartment one. <laughs> They're coming. All right. So now we're going to need to get him to come back here somehow. All right, um, let's see. again uh where are we where am i going where are the apartments show me the apartments all right uh let's see i have the hiccups Where am I? You are here. Where is the Skyline Apartments? It's here. I'm looking for number two.
I think this is it. I think it's right here. Nope, this is confession. Why am I so challenged with maps? Challenged by maps. Words are hard. <laughs> uh, it's right here. This is where I wanted to go. Alright, cool. First apartment. <laughs> no, it was out of nowhere. Uh What do I want to say to him? Oh, the Black Widow has devoured all the flies, all dead. Dead? But how did you... What are you? The Hand of Death. Freeze! <laughs> Why can't I stand up? All right, goodbye. I killed him. I killed him because I wanted the the Humanity and it gave me a masquerade or I didn't care about the humanity. I wanted the experience and it gave me masquerade redemption So I protected the masquerade just saying Camarillo is gonna love me now What? How did you even know? Okay. What? All right, I'll tuck around the corner. And the cops will have no idea where I am. Why is Obfuscate showing up as infinite for me right now? Kinda weird, right? Everyone knows my sins. I'm just a dirty criminal in this playthrough. I'm getting caught all the time. I'm naughty. Do I just have infinite buffs right now? What is going on with this? No, I don't. For some reason my controls are all messed up. This is really weird. Alright, let's do this. Mm, 
controls are still really messed up. That's bizarre. Like I'm, I have to run sideways to run straight. This is very weird. <laughs> this makes navigating in, in third person really difficult. Why is it, why is it so far off? Okay, well, I'm just gonna, even my, it looks like my cursor is like, even weirdly, like it doesn't look like it's directly in the center of what I'm looking at. I mean, in relation to like my, w the directions that I'm holding on the keyboard, it like looks like slightly off. Because when I'm holding forward alone, I'm not going exactly straight, which is very irritating. I'm wondering what, what caused that. There we go. Where's Pisha? Girl. I made a request of you. Why have you not sent the man down? The fly has been spotted. The kind fate was sealed the moment he entered. Do not waste time debating the morality. Understood. Tell me more of the prizes I can win. Yes. I am searching for two items I have tracked to this area. One, I believe, may be in one of the local museums. I have not yet searched them all. The other, I believe, to be in the Giovanni's possession, though I have not confirmed it. For these items, I will exchange items of similar worth. I'll make this trade. Tell me about the museum prize. A fetish is described in a 19th century chronicle of a British platoon's encounter with a local tribe. Soldiers would go missing in the night and be replaced by these fetishes. It may be valuable to my studies. And the other prize? It is used to communicate with certain entities otherworldly. It is a tome called the Voce del Morte. Should you find yourself within the walls of the Giovanni, seize the opportunity and take it. For they will make sure you never have another. The Giovanni are one of many bloodlines uh, that belong to a clan we now call the Hekata, who are practitioners of the practice of oblivion. They are able to communicate with the dead. They are necromancers. If it finds me, I will introduce you to it. Yes. Death is the ultimate dilemma, and integral to the beliefs and behavior of every culture. Life is bore on the corpses of the dead. Without death, there would be no motivation to accomplish anything. The only emotion would be existing. Life would be pestilent and agonizing. I wonder if something else from the widow. Yes. Uh... I got a free friggin' not chicken for you. If it satisfies you, I make an effort to only prey on the weak and worthless, consuming their flesh not out of spite, but out of self-preservation. I wither and rot without it. It is my survival. Uh, let's see. Oop. Yes. Uh, I didn't mean to pluck your web. I am gone. I need blood. Need blood. Come on, Pisha. Give me some of that blood. All right, now I have to navigate out of this hellscape. This is a disaster. Yeah. I wish there was just an elevator. <laughs> An elevator and then like a nice staircase. That would be enough for me. All right, let's keep going.
actively getting hard to control my character. This is so weird. The buttons that I'm pushing are like not corresponding to the buttons that my character is moving right now. It might seem like I'm moving very fluidly. I'm not. I am having a lot of actual just straight up difficulty controlling the character. extremely frustrating it has not it honestly doesn't have much to do with the the traversal itself it has to do with the fact that like my character is misaligned from their axis it is very odd to play through it's just an odd glitch it seems like All right, let's figure out what next. I need to go to the museum. I don't know where the museum is, but we have to go there. And at some point, we need to uh, go to the Giovanni, but I don't know how to make that happen. Oh God, move. some of that thank you and so. that's not the worst amount that we've ever had <laughs> aloe brook hotel can i go in here Located at Giovanni Mansion, other is in the museum. Where is the museum? I need to look at a bus stop. Oh, museum isn't here. Ah. Baddies are not under the overpass yet, presumably. Jesus, bring me a candle, it's Hanukkah. All right. Uh, hmm. Let's go here. How your eyes speak. These two guys, the dead guy and another, and the, they showed up. I've been living here, so I hid. I thought maybe they was owners or, or cops come to clean the place out. It was the... Continue this terrible tale. Uh, they was waiting on someone. They were going to do some kind of job, they were saying. But the person they was meeting when he was late. So the one guy leaves, you find the phone and call him, and the, and the dead guy stayed. Oh, that's when the killer, yeah, that's when he showed up. Mm, the shadow cloak killer stepped from his dark domain. One second he wasn't there, and then he was. Like out of the shadows, he come up, scared the shit out of the dead guy. I liked to scream, but I couldn't breathe. What did the shadows then reveal? Oh, that killer, he grew these claws. I swear it, I saw it. And the dead guy went white like he seen the devil. And then the killer grabbed him round the neck and lifted him up and started cursing at the guy. What words from this dark devil? Oh, I couldn't hear too good. Something about revenge for what he did or what they did. The killer made sure the dead guy knew who he was and then ripped him open. It just tore him apart. He did it real slow and made the guy scream. This story will place you in a padded cell. Silence if you love your freedom. Okay, okay, I will. I don't want to never think about that again. Do or die. Masquerade Redemption. So yeah, that's how werewolves work on people. Werewolves terrify people to the point where they like can't tell what is and isn't real anymore. Lucky star room key. 
I don't remember where that is. And that's in Hollywood, so we won't be able to go there yet. Uber says the werewolf fussy makes you go crazy. I mean, I'm not saying it doesn't make me go crazy. <laughs> Zid says, I missed five seconds ago when you hadn't read those words yet. Welcome to my entire existence. Alright, so we found a cool thing there. It's pretty sweet. And the museum isn't here. As far as I can tell. And there we go. Here's the Tremere Regency. This is a cool area. I have no idea how I made it in here on my first try. That was not practiced. Greetings, Neonate. Might I assume you received my invitation? I have been looking forward to meeting you for quite some time. Blood magics and betrayal, and the true king upon his throne. Ah, a child of Malkav, no less. Do dark visions cloud your sight, young one? Shattered reflections of your clan father's mind. Glasses cracked, but strangely clear. There is truth in your words, Neonate. More than you yet realize. Your madness allows you to glimpse the truth of this existence. To see through the shadowy veil into the world beyond. On your head an iron crown, and the jester dances before you. Hmm. Be cautious when speaking of these visions. Truth is rarely welcomed by those who cannot see it. There are many kindred who will be less, shall we say, accepting of it than I am. Tell me your name, Wizard King. Strauss. Maximilian Strauss. I am the regent of this Chantry. Welcome. Chantry holds mystery for me. A Chantry is a local gathering place for those of the Tremere clan. I live here as do apprentices from time to time. Regent is opaque and shadowy. A regent is the leader of a chantry, as well as a teacher to young Tremere apprentices who are studying the mysteries of our clan. Right. Uh, tell me of the Dark City of Angels. Let me give you some advice, young one. Your survival in kindred society will often depend on your ability to find out yourself what is going on around you. Remember that well. So Strauss uh, is a lore character in, you know, World of Darkness stuff. And I have to say, uh, he is, he's very clearly one of the, the World of Darkness writer's favorite characters because he shows up in a lot of things and is very, very important, uh, including in, in the modern uh, canon actual plays like like L.A. by Night and uh, New York by Night. He has his tendrils everywhere. So he is a very interesting uh, interesting character that you get to read a lot about and see a lot about if you're interested in World of Darkness stuff. Emery is really a gift to the schizophrenic. As for what is going on here in downtown, the word on everyone's lips, kindred or kind, seems to be epidemic. Ah, a withered horse runs among us. It seems among that this. disease has been spreading at an alarming rate throughout the downtown population. Considering our particular appetites, the local kindred are more than concerned about these developments. Dirty blood is our doom. Yes, indeed. My opinion is that the local anarchs are responsible for these outbreaks. Their precipitous indulgence of certain passions often leads to such things. Ergo, their need for the watchful eye of the Camarilla. Perhaps might I probe the problem of this pestilence? Hmm. An interesting proposition. If you succeed in finding the cause of this epidemic and putting an end to it, I will compensate you appropriately for your efforts. 
I shall do the deed. Very well. Again, I recommend speaking with the Anarchs. You can find most of them at the local watering hole, reveling in the vices of their former lives. I believe the place is called The Last Round. Uh, my mind is left, my body follows. Uh, so one of the things I wanted to show off was that the Tremere Chantry follows inorganic uh, non-Euclidean geometry. So if you mess up the path, you can actually see the spot in the game where it resets. Oop, that's the right way. You see that? See where it hopped? It like corrects my perspective to be looking up. Kind of a cool trick. I think it's pretty fun. Anachronic Rodent says I'm a big Beckett fan. Same, but also who isn't? <laughs> I think he's probably the most popular uh, VTMB, or not VTMB, World of Darkness character, right? That could have been a player, player apartment. I wonder if I get it by doing this quest for Strauss. Alrighty, let's wander towards the last round. I'm still wondering where Mr. Durbin is. I seek wisdom about my carnivorous condition. You've got to understand, Kindred. You're carrying a 6,000-year curse in your blood. No matter how powerful it makes you feel... Uh, I feel the blood, a familiar friend. That blood is a tangle of chains that's going to leave you bound in servitude the rest of your existence. Uh, your lingo is labyrinthine. Your elders command the blood. They control the blood, and the blood listens. You'll never even hear their call. Uh, how do I break these ancient chains? That shit stretches all the way back to King. Nothing you can do. Some ancient sleeping in a tomb half a world away has a bad dream, and you don't feel that shit. Like it or not. Interesting. Do you speak of the Dark Father? Hey, man. Father of all vampires. Killed his brother Abel and was cursed by God to walk eternity feeding on the blood of his children. Think of this shit, man. Uh, do you believe in such boogeyman? Keep your voice down. Is Kane real? I don't know. Not sure who won or not. I would offer him a worm free apple, but where do you go with these words? The point is, with this curse pulling your strings, you really want to sign away your right to fight by joining the Camarilla? Alright. Uh, let's see. You also hide behind the masquerade's veil? I don't need to bear my fangs to feel good about myself. The masquerade is a fruity Camarilla label. Other than that, I ain't got no problem with it. Live and let live. We got enough to worry about. Hallelujah and holy rollers. You know, speaking of the masquerade, I just thought of something you might be able to help us out with. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Come on, tell me the answer. There's this girl who's been making a lot of noise lately. It's a real pain in the ass. She's a ghoul of this one Toreador creep who disappeared. Is Patty the name of this ghoulish girl? Yeah, Patty. You must know who I'm talking about. Then. Is this Patty a prickly problem? She used to show up around here and act like she was everybody's best friend. 
It was all fun and games until her vampire sugar daddy stopped calling. Now she can't get her blood fixed and shit ain't so fun no more. Uh what dark deeds need to be done. She's crossed the line. Only time that mouth ain't blabbing is when it's sucking vampire blood. She's gotta disappear. Do this, and we'll keep it our little secret, you hear? Uh, I'll take this mission for the masquerade. I will serve the Childer of Entropy. All right, have fun. I'd love to do this one myself, but I know it's silent. Just let me know when it's done. Uh, I shall peruse the streets for this little patty. All right, let's uh, talk to Nines. Sorry, Nudie. But I got the whole city shouting so in my chase ear you right now. We'll have to rant some other night. Uh, oh, oops. Sabat, chase you in here, Cammy. Damn sail, are you a stubborn boat? I'm danger. Someone talking shit about me over in that ivory tower? Who said it, huh? I'll kick their ass. The only words spoken here were in my head. Lunatic. I'd give you a piece of my mind, seeing as how you're just another do boy for the Camarilla. Shit. No amount of good sense penetrates that white noise you mouths call a brain, does it? Uh... The Warlock ch Chief says you children spread disease. That goddamn blood witch told you what? He thinks we're responsible for that plague bearer? If I hadn't promised Nines I'd keep my nose clean, I'd go over right now and rip him a new wizard shoot. Magic missile casting motherfucker! Uh... A firecracker versus dynamite. Hmm. Tell me if plague bearer's firecracker. A plague bearer's a fool that doesn't care who they feed from. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. We can't get sick, but the kind can. And kindred that feed on them start spreading disease. Enough get sick, it's an epidemic. CDC's in town as we speak. Uh, let's see. Can't you just shoot the dirty carrier pigeon away? Seen old yeller? May sound cruel, but it's necessary. If someone puts together two and two as to the real cause of an outbreak of bloodborne diseases, guess what happens? So the plague bearer's gotta be found and put down. If the Camarilla really gives a damn, they'll help us out. Okay. Uh, when the children make a mess, it's up to the parent to clean it up. No, my body boats with boredom, I will do this. One of our boy's ghouls, name's Paul, lives nearby in the Skyline Apartments. Been a stranger lately. Looked like death last time he was here. Said he didn't get bit, but maybe you can get more info out of him. Hmm. All right, I will touch this ghoul's mind in his mind secret places. Wait, if Paul's not talking, you might want to... Oh, oops. They're questioning the homeless population. So many have been dying lately that it makes the city a few days to pick up the bodies. I'll spread my mind, my mind around the city of angels. See you, damn sail. Blue says, good morning. Good morning, Blue. Welcome to the stream.